Hi, I'm Andrew from the Glazer Tutoring Company. Today I would like to teach you how to program your TI-83 or A84 calculator with the quadratic function. Okay, you're absolutely going to love this. It's going to save you a ton of time. Let's start. Go to your program. Hit program. Okay, on the T84, this screen comes up. If you have a T83, a different screen will come up, but don't worry, you won't be lost after I hit enter. You're going to go to creating a new program. So hit enter again. Okay, you got to give it a name. I don't care what you call it. I'm going to call it quad. Q U A D. Great. Then hit enter. Okay. First thing is we want it to handle complex numbers. So I want to uh, go to my catalog now. So go to second catalog. Scroll all the way down until you get to A plus B I. There it is. Good. Hit enter. Great. Hit enter again. Next line of code. I want to prompt it now. So go to your catalog again and you got to go to your P. So hit alpha P. Now for some reason on this calculator, I have to do that twice, but you shouldn't have to. All right. I'll bring it down to your P's and you're going to go to now prompt. Should be right there. Hit enter. Okay. You want to prompt it to do alpha A, comma alpha B, comma alpha C. Those are your A, B, and C values, right? When you're thinking about a quadratic equation, you know your A value, your B value, and your C value, right? Those are the coefficients. Okay. Hit enter. Next line now. Now follow carefully here. Open your parentheses, then hit negative, not the minus sign over here, but negative. Negative alpha B plus second square root of alpha B squared minus four alpha A, alpha C, double close those parentheses, divided them by open parentheses, two alpha A. Close the parentheses and I wanna store that now, so hit the store arrow into alpha D. Great, hit enter again. Same thing now, open the parentheses, negative alpha B, but this time hit minus, okay? Second square root of alpha B squared minus four alpha A, alpha C, Double close the parentheses, then divide it by open parentheses to alpha A. Close the parentheses and store that into alpha E. Great. Now hit enter, last line of code, we're gonna display it. So go to your catalog again, hit second catalog. Go to alpha D for display, I gotta hit it twice, you shouldn't have to do that. But here, go down to display, D-I-S-P, there it is. And hit enter on display. Okay, you want the calculator to now display your D value, so alpha D, comma, and your E. Great, we're done. Don't hit clear, you gotta hit second quit. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, let's choose a particular, uh, you know, function. Let's just, now this is not part of the program, but this will be my sample function. Let's do x squared uh, plus uh, 6x plus nine, okay? So your a, b, and c values are as follows. The a value is the coefficient of the x squared, right? So that's a one. Your b value then is gonna be the coefficient of the x term, which is six and the C value is the constant term, or it has no variable attached to it, so that will be a nine, okay? So A is one, uh, B is six, and C is nine. Now all you have to do to figure out the roots of this quadratic is so simple. Just clear this out now, all right? Go to program. Execute your quad program, so go to enter. It's gonna come up here, it says program quad, you wanna run it, so hit enter. So it's gonna ask you for your A value. We said it was one, our B value was six, and the C value is nine, and there's the roots. Negative three and negative three, okay? That's it. It's as simple as that. So X is gonna equal negative three, X will equal negative three, and you are finito. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helps. Uh, by the way, check out our channel because we have thousands and thousands of videos out there to help you through physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and we got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out, all right? So stay tuned. We'd love to help you. Be well.